Let's take a look how to make this stacked motion text effect here on Photoshop. My artboard size is 1920 by 1920. And for the font, I'm going to go with Catalog Demi. I also gonna leave the link in the description so you can download it. And from here, I'm going to go to the backgrounds. I'm going to uncheck it first. Let's select the backgrounds and let's go and select the rectangle. Now make sure that the fill is on black. I'm going to select the black color and let's go to the stroke, select none. And from here, I'm going to create a rectangle on the text. From here, let's go and select the layer with the rectangle and press and hold shift and select the text as well. Right click on them and select convert a smart object. Let's go and activate the background layer as well. Select the layer with the text and I'm going to go to the filter. Let's go to blur and select Gaussian blur. Here I'm going to go with four pixels. Click OK and let's go back to the filter blur again and select motion blur. And here, make sure that the angle is on 90 degree angles and at the distance, I can decrease it now to 25. Click OK. We're going to need to create nine copies out of this layer. So press Ctrl J to duplicate a couple of times until you're going to get like eight, nine copies. And what I'm going to do is press and hold shift, select all the layers with the text and I'm going to bring it on the top. And now I'm going to go back to the layer, press and hold Ctrl, click on the top layer. So it's going to deselect, but select the rest of the text layers. And I'm going to go here and drag it down, press and hold shift. And I'm going to bring it somewhere here. For example, let's go back to the layers. Let's go to the top one, press and hold control to deselect. And let's go and drag the rest. Now it seems like Photoshop is having some bugs, but we're going to fix it and repeat this step. Press and hold control, click on the top layer and drag the rest down and so on and so forth. And it looks something like this. I can arrange them all. And from here, I'm going to scroll up and let's go and select the second layer with the text. And here I need to do is go here to the motion blur, double click on it and go to the distance. And we're going to increase it to 50. Let's go to the third one, open up the motion blur again, and you can increase this to 70. Let's go to fourth. You can add like 110. Next one, I'm going to go with 200. Next one, this is going to be 250. And then this is going to be 300. And now at least I'm going to push this one to 500, but you can push even more. But the main point is to arrange them to try to make it like a little bit more equal. So it's going to look something like this. From here, I'm going to go and select all the layers. I'm going to go to the background layer, press and hold shift, scroll up, select all the layers, right click, select convert smart object. And let's go and rename this. And let's go to the filter, blur gallery and select tilt shift. Now here, what I'm going to do is bring this circle somewhere at the top and I'm going to increase the blurriness and I'm going to drag this line down. And from here, you can increase or decrease the blurriness and make it more exciting. I think this looks pretty nice. I'm going to click OK. And then from here, you can go to the adjustments and select the gradient map, click on the gradient and add some colors, click on the color and change up the color. In my situation, I'm going to go with these color nuances and let's go to the adjustment layers, select solid color, make it black, click OK, right click on it, convert a smart object. And let's go to the filter, go to noise, add noise. I'm going to go with like 25, click OK. And here we're going to go to the blend mode and change it to screen. So that's how I make this pretty cool stack text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.